What is up, bro? Welcome to the video. Heading to the gym right now, We're going to hit a massive lift. In today's video, I'm actually going to be advising you, giving you some tips and strange tricks which you can use for yourself to increase your confidence. And if you're ready, let's get started. So let me give you all tip number one while I'm also at the gym, and that is five second countdown. Now here's the perfect example, and I'm going to use you. Let's say you meet a cute random girl out there. Then you approach her without even thinking about it. Most of the time, it all goes great. But the moment you start second guessing yourself, it now starts becoming a decision of whether should I go or should I not go. You get what I'm saying? And that is why I recommend that you give yourself a five second countdown to do something that you're afraid of doing. Let's say now it's the girl you're going to approach her. Give yourself five seconds. One, two, as you're stepping, three, four. When it hits five, you must be there. The moment you're there, just start speaking. Don't even think about it. Same way with other situations, whether it's going to speak to your boss or going to speak to a lecture, whichever. Just give yourself five seconds as you're going to do it. Then when you reach there, just start speaking. If it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't go well, hmm. So let me ask you something. Are you more confident when you're thinking and processing information inside your head? Oh wow, she's cute. Wait, is that a phone? Oh fuck, is that a friend? Fuck, nah, I can't do this. It's not going to work out. Or are you more confident when your mind is completely empty and in tune with the environment? And that is why I'm going to give you some techniques to make you more in tune with the environment and lower your nervousness. And that is one by practicing mindfulness. Now, when you get into situations like that, what I want you to do, take deep, heavy, five breaths. Hold it in. And let it out. Repeat it five times. Then after that, I want you to focus on these three things which come into your environment. And that is by focusing on the physical sensations like the bottom of your feet touching the ground as you walk. Or the wind in your face. Ah. or the vibration of the bass in your ears. The deep breathing is going to calm you down and the physical sensation are going to get you out of your head and back to your body and back to the environment, which will just in turn give you more confidence and less nervousness for the rest of the day. Now, most of the time that you get yourself into situations where you find yourself lacking confidence at that moment is because that you don't know the next action let's say we're taking the step go to this girl approached her everything went well now after that you don't know what next to do bro guess what i got her number yeah so should i text her now or maybe tomorrow i, I don't know sure i, I don't know man I, I trust you but i just hope that i don't mess things up you know yeah. Now the next course of action in this type of situation, just plan the date. Now with this, I can actually recommend it that you try it in other areas of your life, not only in the relationship or dating girls, anything that you do, whether it's a business, just make sure to take the next action from what you have done. So those are the tips which I can give you to gain more confidence and actually move in a better way. And uh, as always, I hope that made sense. And if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you as always and if you're new to the channel what's up bro welcome to the channel subscribe like and share and i recommend that you watch this video right here because it's a bang of a video and i'll talk to all of you all in the next video and if i don't i'll be mad bro